What's up, race fans? It's that time of the week again where we give shout outs to those who may not have won but did really well, and we also give those who need some luck the four leaf clover. It's a new edition of What You Missed. A few drivers had their best career finish in the SKs last Friday. One of them was Noah Corner, who finished second in the feature, the first SK podium of Corner's career. The Mid State Site development team has shown improvement this year, scoring three top fives and six top tens in their first full season in the division. Can they keep it up? Rookie Jonathan Puglia also scored his career best finish last Friday, finishing in 7th spot. The Mr. Rooter plumbing team was running top 5 the previous week before a late race spin ended their chances of a top 5. But their speed on that night and their 7th place finish last Friday shows that that 7 team is trending in the right direction. Brian Narducci has scored a top 5 and two top 10s in his two races since joining Tick Mike. After finishing 8th in the first race, Narducci backed the run up with a 5th place finish last Friday. The Florida Connection 73 team is now seeking their first podium. In the late models, Wayne Corey Jr. returned to the top 5 last Friday, finishing 4th in the feature. It's the first top 5 for Corey in almost 2 months. They've had their bad luck and mechanical woes, but the Wayne's Auto Body 10 team still has the potential to get their second win of the season. Tyler Leary hasn't had much luck lately. After finishing 4th back on June 18th, he's only been able to score a best finish of 11th, until last Friday when he finished in 8th after starting 17th. The PNT Enterprises 08 team knows that they have what it takes to return to the top 5 after their solid run last week. In the SK Lights, I mentioned recently that Bob Charland and the Wicked Power Sports 1 team were closing in on their first podium of the year. Well, they got it last week, finishing in 3rd. Charland has 5 straight top 7 finishes in the SK Lights. How much more does he need to return to victory lane for the first time since 2013? In the street stocks, sophomore Christopher Phelps didn't have a top 10 this year prior to last Friday, but he did a great job keeping his car clean and earned a career best 7th place finish, a morale booster for the Doug's Home Improvements 20 team as they hope to stay consistently in the top half of the field. It's no secret that Frank Latwell Jr. has been very fast this year, but his consistency in a pretty competitive field is impressive. Latwell has finished in the podium in 12 of the last 13 street stock features. His average finish all year, including a DNF, is 3. But the A team is trying to end their longest winless drought of the year, a 5 race drought. Now here are a couple drivers who need some good luck their way this Friday. In the SK Modifieds, Matt Vassar has had a rough 3 weeks since his 5th place finish. First an ill handling car and a spin led to a 20th place finish, then the car kept popping out of gear, relegating him to a 12th the next week, and then a broken axle last week resulted in a 22nd place finish. The Hummel Hot Dogs team is looking for some luck and a return to the top 10. In the street stocks, Bobby Sturck III did have a career best 4th place finish a couple weeks ago, but a couple incidents last Friday led to him finishing 22nd, and Sturck has finished 20th or worse in 3 of the last 4 races. The 9 team has good speed, but they need the luck to go their way more often. Now this Friday is back to school night here at Stafford, so those 14 and under can get into the track free, and if you can't make it to the race, you can watch it live on Flow Racing with heat starting at 6 and features starting at 7. We'll see you at the track.